Hi, this is Kay with Girl Meets Meeple, and today we'll be unboxing On Mars by Vital Lacerda. It looks like this does include the upgrade pack. So let's see what is in this box. Hey, there's a learn to play video before the game came out. That's always useful. Since the power things tend to be pretty heavy. Let's see. So over here, got some ads. A reference book. A quick reference for the cards and the pieces, it looks like. That's always useful. And our rule book. Game components. Setup, player board. Now, if I remember right from this Kickstarter, the base game does not come with a solo. And I, no, there is one. Okay, I was thinking he was doing an expansion for the solo, but it looks like there is one included. So that is great. And a two player game variant. Upgrade pack rules. There is a board, and those are not recessed, they're just well shaded. And here is our game board. This looks like it's going to be pretty big. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that is, um, that's a big board. And I think you're going to have player paces around it. So if you have limited space, this one is a, a bigger one. And some punch things. Those look like player reference cards. And Looks like you'll be putting cards or something there. Yeah. Lots of punch boards here. These are nice and thick, chunky punch boards, so that's always nice. And lots of tokens. And these look like your player boards, and these do have recessed places. Those are nice because I'm assuming cubes will go in there, and that will keep them from sliding all over the place. And <laughs> a nice pink cover on that. Let's see, so little space people, astronauts I suppose, and lots of different kind of meeples in here, rockets and maybe a rover or something, some sort of land bike, another astronaut, lots of Cool design shapes in there. And these look like they're in player colors, so I'm guessing those are all the same in different player colors. Some cubes and don't know what that is, maybe a dome. And the pink player. Yep. Looks like each one has a slightly individual shape to these particular pieces. And then we have some little gems. A very nice insert down here. This looks like it would be great for organization. An A, B, and C marker in here, more cubes, 
more custom meeples. There are lots of fun custom meeples in here. Any more, please? I'm not sure. More meeples, but these have symbols on them. And here we have our solo deck. Escape plan replacement cards. I am not actually... This is, this is apparently for escape plan. I'm not sure if that means there was a misprint in that game. I do own that game. Let's see what these are. Hmm. Yeah, those are solo, solo cards from escape plan. That's interesting. I'll put those to the side. Here we have cards for on Mars, because <laughs> we are not unboxing escape plan today. Okay, those, I have no idea what those do. So you've got a lot of different cards mixed in here. Or A's and B's, and then this. Not sure what the back of these symbolizes, but we've got trade markets and recycling bots and aerial elevators. These look like things you can build to help you out on Mars. And based on the fact this has three at the bottom, this has one. I'm guessing those are upgraded ones, and these are basic things. Automated production, wind turbines, private ship, biomarket, yeah. Guessing these are things you'll need to build to help you out on Mars. And we have some small square cards. So let's see what we've got here. There's definitely a lot of iconog iconography in this game. So I'm glad they have reference sheets because when you go a while between plays, that's the first thing I always forget, I know. So good to have a good reference guide for these. And these are a couple different colors back here. So the biochemist, R&D, engineer, hydrologist. So these are some character roles it looks like. And again, I don't know what these different things are here. And I think the rest of this is storage, it looks like. Oh, nope, there is something underneath. Oh, not under that one. Oh, so just these cards. I think this is, is this Eagle Griffin who puts this out. I don't know, whoever does his games tends to be, yeah, Eagle Griffin. They tend to make really nice inserts for these games. I have noted that in other Vital Lacerda games that they make excellent inserts for his games. It's like a whole bunch of different cards all mixed together, so we'll just flip through them real quick. Yeah. Well, it looks like that is it. Um, that is on Mars. Thank you for watching this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time and happy gaming.